So, quick video here. We got a Linux humidifier. Somebody has broke the Bluetooth button off. I don't know how they snapped it out of there. They probably couldn't get it to connect and they started slamming stuff. Uh, the button was gone. I wasn't able to find the button, but I was able to carefully pry the metal and the button off of this spot, the configuration button, and move it up there to the Bluetooth. And I was able to connect. I actually made it pretty easy. Uh, plug in a USB, follow the directions here. Pretty simple is you just go to the RTU menu, down to service, and uh, report, I believe, report. And then system profile. And it asks you to type in a unique ID. I don't know if you all can see any of this, but there uh, you can actually, I saved it to the USB already. It was pretty easy, it took uh, maybe a minute and it should be downloaded onto my USB. So I should be able to plug a USB into my new board, which is right here. And if not, what I didn't realize, I've already recorded all the information that it said, but we should be able to save mobile and it should save it to my device. So now I've got to save two places and I've got all the information just in case anything goes terribly wrong. But uh, swapping the button out, it was not too hard. Two little baby screwdrivers and you got little pins on the side of it. You can kind of see those are pried out. So I just got in there, pried a little bit and popped it off real easy with the power off and moved that button and I was able to connect to it. And it's saving to my device now, so we'll have it everywhere. And then we'll throw the new board in, plug the USB in and see if it doesn't upload all the information. That way we don't have to reprogram everything. Uh, once I power down, uh, everything should be specific, color coded, and only fit in one place. I'm not gonna rewire everything. I'm just gonna take and pull these out, get them out of the way and then we'll just leave the wires and plug them right back on. So it looks like we're saved there. I do have it saved up here. So let's go ahead and shut it down, see if uh, we can pop a new board in and see how hard this is gonna be. So there's our new board. Looks nice. Pretty simple stuff here. There's not a whole lot to do. I'm probably gonna snap a picture just so if something goes terribly wrong, I've got a snapshot of it and I'm gonna plug this guy on here and see if we can't get it to come back up via that USB. Uh, so far, this has been simple. I, it took me a few minutes. It took me longer to move the button and actually get connected. They were trying to do, this is a new unit, they were trying to do uh, airflow uh, setup and they weren't able to do it because they weren't able to connect Bluetooth. So they said they needed a new board, even though board was still all right I'd like to know who was prying on buttons and shit but probably not gonna find that out we got it powered down swap the board out go from there pretty simple here's the old board that is the button that I pried off and there is a small piece of, if I can get the camera on it, there's just a small piece of metal that makes contact back there. I tried pushing with the button that was left over at first and it didn't work with just the plastic. You gotta have that button and that little piece of metal, but new board's installed. Everything's tight enough that it all goes back in the same place, so you shouldn't have any problems. We're gonna pop these and pop our wires back in, pop a USB in, and it ought to all upload and come on and start running. It makes it nice and easy. So we're getting ready to power this guy back up. I'm just going through and checking to make sure we got everything plugged in tight. Um, I had a previous video where I went through the entire unit and started up the heat on these. 
somebody did ask about, I did have an alarm for humidity sensor. Um, this is my DHUM call here. And what I found was on the Linux thermostats, they actually have, uh, they have to be set up for it, but you can program them for DHUM and they've got a humiditrol setting, set it to humiditrol, land a wire from D terminal on the thermostat to D, DI4, that's your digital input, and that's going to give it the DHUM call. Uh, the, the alarm went away once we did that and programmed it via the Bluetooth app and in the thermostat, and it goes into DHUM itself. These actually DHUM pretty well. It's pretty, here's your valves here. It just uses a reversing valve, kind of like Train does, reheat. And there's some more valves uh, inside by the evaporator. Uh, keep in mind, they're hidden sometimes, and you don't always see, but there's an unloader back here. Uh, the other unit I got on the other side over there, they thought didn't have DHUM, because this is hidden all the way in the back, and you gotta look close, and it's a two-stage unit. So I got two compressors in here, which doesn't give them the room to install the reversing valve and everything else, so it doesn't look like it has DHUM if you just look at it on the outside. If you open up the evaporator, that's where they put the reversing valve and all the other DHUM valves. So keep that in mind on your two-stage larger units. I think that's a 10 ton. So let's power this guy up. No smoke, that's good. We're gonna let it boot and uh, we should be able to pull it back up and download the, or upload whatever, the old program. So this is a pretty simple process. Don't jam on these buttons, they work. You gotta press and hold for five seconds. Wait until that green light starts flashing blue. Or maybe not. There you go, five seconds, let it go. And then you hit next on the app and it pulls up your rooftop right there and it's going to connect to it pair and then we'll go through the instructions again i have to plug the usb back in and see if we can't find the thing you can see maybe you can see there's no model and serial number so we're gonna have to go that's what we're gonna have to do with this or it seems like since I saved it in the, my tablet as well should be able to do it from there so it does show it shows my call but it says pre-install so I think we're gonna go the same route we're gonna go to service and report and then uh, choose load let's see system profile and we can load it from the mobile just like we saved it so we're gonna do the USB we're gonna hit load and it's searching for the USB and it should find it and load the profile. There it is, our T13, that's the one we made. And we're just gonna hit next. This app was kind of cumbersome when I first saw it. This is the second time I've messed with these, but man, does it make it easy. That was a pretty quick swap over. The button thing was a little uh, reverse engineering there, popping those buttons off, but that just seemed like the best idea. And we're going to let it do its thing, see if it doesn't come up and start working. And give it the check mark. Hit next. You will not be able to cancel the load process beyond this point. Well, I don't want to cancel it. I want to load it. USB found loading system profile. It didn't take long to download it, so... Profile loaded done 
and I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back I'm gonna go back through and check everything verify the model and serial numbers correct and all that good stuff and then we'll start this guy back up make sure everything's good before I leave but I thought this might be an interesting video uh, the just the two-page manual came with uh, the new board made it pretty easy I like it leave a trade bear and you found it I'll see y'all next time